the text spoken by the voices and the sound volume are exactly the same as in the original recording. To help the ear adapt itself to the strange rhythm, rapidity and softness of the voice entity's speech, each utterance is repeated several times. The voices here selected are grouped according to the persons addressed and their respective answers, followed by a translation and explanation. They are examples chosen to give the reader a breakthrough, an acoustic illustration of the material presented in the book. The listener is asked to read any text spoken in languages he does not know with particular attention so that he may be able to grasp each separate word phonetically. Please note the commentary that goes with each voice text as the meaning of some utterances can only be understood in context with the situation that gave rise to them. The first voice is that of Margarete Petrowski who had told the experimenter during her lifetime that she did not believe in an existence after death. After her passing, the experimenter asked her how she felt in the beyond, and a voice, identified as coming from Margarete, answered, Bedenke, ich bin. German, imagine, I am. Again we hear Margarete Petrowski's voice, this time calling her former employer, Dr. Zenta Maurina. Zenta. Now the experimenter asks if Margarete can hear him, and a voice replies, Kostya, ja. German, Kostya, yes. The voice then calls the experimenter's family name, Raudive, but shortens it to Raudiv. And now we hear in Latvian and German, Koste, tu tick na. Koste, you are so near. Now the experimenter calls the Russian poet Vladimir Mayakovsky and the voice answers Mayakovsky. The experimenter tells the poet how difficult it is to convince people of the reality of the voice phenomenon and in reply comes a statement which is typical for Mayakovsky's personality. Konstantin, Pluy. In Russian, Konstantin, spit on it. The experimenter talks to his former teacher, the Spanish philosopher Ortega y Gasset and the voice calls out, Ortega. The experimenter asks whether the research into the voice phenomenon had any significance and whether it was based on firm foundations. The voice answers, Entrojas muchas cuestiones.
vanish. You will solve many questions. A Latvian voice then breaks in with a statement that could be interpreted in various ways. It might mean, for instance, that the voice phenomenon research may benefit mankind even if the process is a painful one. Tu laudes zadet zina. Latvian, you are burning people. The experimenter addresses his former collaborator, the Swiss parapsychologist Professor Gebhard Frey. Beset by doubts, the experimenter begs Professor Frey to give his name, and a voice answers, Frey. 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 Then, in Swedish and German, Du sowas willst nicht glaube. You are sleeping. You do not want to believe. In another recording, the experimenter remarks that people do not believe in life after death, and a voice answers, So sind sie. German, that's how they are. The experimenter calls on Vitaut's Simane, a friend who had died a short time before the recording was made, and receives the following answer. Danke, gute morning. German and English. Thank you, good morning. Then the friend gives his name, Vitauts Simane. After this comes the request, Prasi Centa Lai Tala. Latvian and Swedish beg Zenta to speak. And then Musu Zenta Recisos. Latvian, our center is the producer. Lastly, this voice says, Sie glaubt nicht. German, she does not believe. Once again, the experimenter addresses Professor Gebhard Frey and asks, whether he thinks the voice phenomenon research necessary and what, in the professor's opinion, its final goal should be. A voice replies, Oui, c'est necessity. French and English, yes, it's a necessity. The voice urges the experimenter, Konstantin, arbeiten. German, Konstantin, do work. The voice then calls Konstantin.
And lastly, Raudive.